again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm here with the Move or Die mods. You could almost call this Move or Die Day Friday, I guess, because a lot of the times, I mean, this isn't an official announcement or anything, but it just seems to be that I upload this regular series a lot on Fridays. Um, but anyway, we are going to try to get this new mod that I downloaded. I will, of course, give credit in the description for who made this level mode. But then I'll also choose Vertigo, and it looks like we just got Vertigo. So, uh, anyway, maybe we'll see Zombie Run a little bit later on. And, uh, I will say, though... Oh, damn it, I messed up. And my scribble wife takes the victory because this actually, uh, I create all the characters for this series, but I will download mod levels from other people. So, in essence, this is a mod showcase of characters that I create. But, uh, again, if it's a level or something like that, that doesn't come in the game by default. Usually I will have downloaded that unless I specify. And, yes, my wife is going to take the whole victory because sometimes commentating and playing at the same time makes me do really stupid things that I wouldn't normally do, just mistakes stakes and whatnot in playing the games. But uh, one thing you'll notice with these, uh, this is the Scribblenauts mod, of course. I've got Maxwell, and then I've got my Scribblenauts Kendo family. Uh, you could almost say, I guess I could have chosen a lot of different things for a Scribblenauts mod. Specifically, Scribblenauts Unlimited is the game that I chose, I guess, the Scribblenauts game. And here we go. Now we're playing uh, the zombie run mode. And this looks like I, I, that was the first time that I played it, but it looks like it kind of favors the zombies. It's really just that, you know, whether you have four players or three players or whatever, one of them is going to be a non-zombie. And then uh, I guess all the rest of the people are zombies and have to attack that non-zombie person. And my wife, again, the Scribble Mrs. Kendo, taking it away. She's deserving, though. My my wife is amazing, and Valentine's Day is this weekend, so I am just thinking about love a lot. I love Valentine's Day, and I love her, and she is so incredibly loving and giving, and I try to be that way with her, and I think I am, and I try to be that way with you guys in a different way, of course, not romantically. <laughs> Let's save the awkwardness here, but um, we'll go ahead and take Maxwell out, of course, and make this matchup be between the Scribble Kendos, and so I've got Tui Kendo is the little dog in the blue right now that's who i'm playing as yep victory and then we've got apple with the yellow outline right there apple is our dog of about four years old Tui is about two years old. And uh, then there's Dr. Kendo in the pink. Pink makes me feel pretty. And my wife in the green outline right there, Mrs. Kendo. And so one thing you'll notice, Maxwell, actually, it was a little bit easier and stuff. We'll look at these in the Photoshop files and whatnot. But the dogs, actually, they look really well with this. But the two human characters, me and Mrs. Kendo. So, you know, in Scribblenauts, we are created with our legs actually pretty close together. A lot of the Scribblenauts kind of human characters have their legs often close together. Now, some humanoids and monsters and things in that game have the legs farther apart, but also so does Maxwell. And so with that, you know, Maxwell, you'll probably notice later on, we'll bring him back after I play a little bit more with the Kindos. But the thing about Maxwell is that his legs are just so skinny and uh, they are a little bit farther apart. And so I could make them almost like the real Maxwell. But here I had to do my typical thing that I do in this uh, series is one of these art styles, I guess, of this game really is to have these characters that look all like minion like or chicken nugget shaped almost or something like that um, they're just sort of that weird stocky short fat character with legs that are tiny 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 and stubby like you see this cupcake right here uh, we're gonna showcase Maxwell off right now with the the cupcake character is one that's in the game by default. I never use it, so I don't even remember their name right now. I wasn't even looking, but we also have my Papyrus mod from the Undertale characters mod that I did in a previous episode. You can see that on the channel, as well as Knuckles right there in the green. And so Knuckles was in the first episode that I did for this series, uh, the Sonic characters. And so, anyway, uh, you can catch all those on the channel, as I said, but for this Scribblenauts mod, once again, you can see that the Maxwell, you know, it does mostly look proportional. I did have to stretch the body out a little bit, making it a little bit fatter than Maxwell actually is. And so uh, with his legs being so skinny already, that was kind of just an easy transition into move or die. So here with the Photoshop files, you can see kind of uh, the basis for the designs. Of course, there's the logo up there in the top right corner. So if you're wondering why that head is just kind of floating there. And then the difference between these two bodies is one is the fat body, which is over on the left. There are some games like Blowback or the Candy Rush game where you have to eat candy and stuff like that 
that. Some of these games will make an inflated character that is fatter, so you do have to make a template for that. You could just make it a bigger one, or you could make it fatter. You could do whatever edits you want. But you'll notice here, kind of in the middle, this main Maxwell torso, that is your main character that you're going to see most of the time. And so you'll see that, uh, of course, I started off with a source character of Brains from Move or Die's character library. And I, the reason that I like Brains is it's just sort of the most neutral. It's not going to have any of the facial expression things to get in the way and mess it up. Uh, so you can get kind of an accurate mod just like this. But you'll notice that these uh, little move or die legs right here in the back. So imagine that there is like a rectangle of safe area around whatever body part you're editing. So again, if it's like these little legs, the stubby legs, you have like a rectangle of safe area. So you can go a little bit outside of that black outline as long as it fits within the safe area. Otherwise, then you're going to have undesired effects and that, uh, you know, little dots and things will show up in places that you have no idea. Where did that come from? But the dogs, it was pretty easy to create them in Photoshop. Uh, so you'll see with Tui right here, since their bodies, especially in Scribble Knots, they're just a sideways horizontal view of the dog. We were able to line up the legs and the body and everything all proportionally and have the legs move appropriately since the legs are pretty spread out and move or die. They're far apart. But unfortunately, with the humanoid characters like Scribble Kendo and Scribble Mrs. Kendo, they appeared quite bow-legged. You know, the legs were pretty far apart. But hey, that's okay. There's gonna be a little fudging of designs every now and then. And again, I like to, as you saw with my knuckles and uh, not so much the papyrus, I did it kind of legit, I guess, for the Undertale mods. But, you know, the Five Nights at Freddy's mods, the Mario mods that I did recently, I like to make them kind of fat, short, much fatter actually than the character actually is with the stubby, tiny legs to fit the art style of move or die. Some people are gonna like that, some people are not. And I accept that. But anyway, have a happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I'll catch you on the next vid. And thanks for viewing. The defense like the 300 Spartans, Barton ways are enemies. Just like Moses did the waters and the runners. I still hit Naganada to the shin and the skin caving in. Got a lot of off the limbs. What's the violence? How full? Can we talk about our problems? Go and try that in Hades.